I see my old lady brought the bleach again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. She does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues, <laughs> that's it. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner and you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. Yet you'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's just, it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. Ah, of course, you can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. Better go now. We won't want to get caught red handed again, would we? You naughty minx. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. Upon returning to the flat, Susan and Mitzi slowly reconcile and become friends, and Susan agrees to help Mitzi find the Eye of Adam. When having coffee, Mitzi presses Susan about her past, but this only upsets Susan. Susan then answers a knock at the door, only to be attacked by a mute intruder who knocks her out and takes both her and Mitzi hostage. The two awaken in the bathroom, bounded together by duct tape. While trapped, Susan reveals her backstory. Ten years ago, she was a young mother to Zoe, married to a taxi driver named Eric, but also had an unnamed admirer who regularly called her and sent her flowers while Eric was working. Susan normally threw out the flowers her admirer had sent, but this one time found the flowers too beautiful to toss and thus put the flowers in Zoe's room to avoid raising her husband's suspicion. Eric returned home early that day, severely distressed by his near-death experience from a terrorist bombing. Because of Susan's chats with her admirer, she had missed Eric's multiple calls, further upsetting Eric and causing the two to argue. While Eric and Susan's fight escalated, Zoe began choking due to her unknown but severe allergy to pollen from the new flowers. Zoe died and Eric ran off. Eric would later be found dead in the woods from alcohol poisoning, leaving Susan alone and guilt-ridden in the same flat ever since. I want to be that woman who in 10 years time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? I... 
Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her, if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. It's too complicated. I don't even know you that well. Look, I'm an honest man. What you see is what you get. We might not know each other that well, but you can't deny that there's this great chemistry between us. It's as if we were meant to be together. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? Maybe. But you'll probably find a better girl by then. But now, I really have to go. Bye. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. Eric must have come home early. But why? You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? what happened? Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Jesus. Are you all right? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cap smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passengers screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Are you going to get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. I... Excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. We won't be needing pet insurance either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. It slowly grew into something bigger. Something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued. But it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess! Listen, 
I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. After Susan finishes her story, the mute intruder returns. He threatens to hang Mitzi unless Susan plays the piano for him. She does, and the summoned cats promptly kill the intruder. After cleaning up the mess, Susan decides to help Mitzi find the Eye of Adam. After eliminating all the building's tenants as potential suspects, Mitzi and Susan are invited into Flat 5 directly by Eye of Adam through a note on their door. Having previously written off the old man who accompanies Flat 5 as senile and backwards, the old man reveals that Eye of Adam is his son and that he is aware of Adam's plan to kill Mitzi and Susan. However, the old man claims that he will no longer be complicit in his son's activities and attempts to save the two by giving up his gas mask to them, as Adam intends to kill using the same deadly gas concoction that killed Mitzi's boyfriend Jack. Depending on the player's choices, either Susan or Mitzi can take the mask. In either scenario, the old man dies from the gas trap. If Susan takes the mask, Mitzi will die and Susan will confront Adam alone. If the mask is given to Mitzi, Susan's immortality allows her to return to life and the two proceed to confront Adam together. Adam is revealed to be a near helpless man, wheelchair bound, fully paralyzed and surrounded by gas tanks to assist his breathing. He is only capable of communicating through movements with his left eye, which is attached to a controller that translates those movements to a visual keyboard, explaining his online handle named Sake. If Mitzi is alive, she will draw a gun on him with the intent of taking revenge and the player has the option of talking her down. If only Susan is alive, she will monologue to Adam briefly about him being her last parasite before deciding whether or not to kill him. If Mitzi is talked down, the two will shut off Adam's computer and leave. Mitzi lives out her remaining days in peace as Susan's tenant. If the player allows Mitzi to kill Adam, Mitzi will fire her gun at point blank and the resulting explosion from the gas tanks will kill Mitzi and Adam. If only Susan survives and chooses to let Adam live, she will shut off Adam's computer and leaves. If she instead chooses to kill Adam, she will flick a lit cigarette into Adam's room and let the delayed explosion kill him. 
Regardless of the player's choices, after laying Mitzi's arrest, Susan begins to open up to other people again by writing a blog about her journey through depression and suicide, and begins to actively communicate with others suffering similar problems. And that ends yet another episode of History Behind. I'm really glad I actually checked out the Cat Lady a few years ago. I was kind of reluctant to actually try because I didn't know what it was about. And it kind of didn't really suit my type of genre when, I, when it comes to like horror and thrillers. But it actually became one of my newest type of horror thriller type games to check out. Um... In this sort of style, I mean, like the side-scrolling horror kind of thing. It opened up new doors for me to try out other games, and it also let me learn the lesson of never judge a book by its cover. I know that's a really old saying, but it's true. Never judge a book by its cover because you could actually find something that is what I like to call a hidden gem, and a cat lady is a hidden gem. It's just sad that a lot of people really don't know what the cat lady is, and when I... Um, explain to someone what one of my favorite horror games is or thriller games or storytelling games is i say the cat lady and they don't know what that is but i always recommend anyone who doesn't know what it is to go ahead and check out the cat lady it is a fantastic game and i will always give it a 10 out of 10 in my book of scores for uh storytelling games that have horror elements to it or just storytelling games period it's a really fantastic game and i recommend everyone who checked out this video who haven't already seen the cat lady to go check it out it is a fantastic game this is the end of our video. This is the end of Cat Lady. There will be no more parts, as you can pretty sure you already knew. If you guys did enjoy this video and you would love to see more here on History Behind, please consider liking the video and sharing it. It helps us out a lot and helps other people get more notified about this channel who would love to see other content uh, just like this and other things coming up soon. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because there's things coming up soon. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss. Hit the bell notification so you always stay up to date when a new video is released and put it in the comment section for what episode you would like to see next here on history behind with that being said as always thank you so much for tuning in here tonight and as always i hope you all have a great night and i will see you all on the next episode of history behind have a good night